The Icemen get it right back. Two on one in tight trailer. Score! The Icemen take the lead. One to nothing. It's Chris Frando getting the goal. And Jacksonville takes the lead at the 7.08 mark of period number one. Another great shift for Logan Cockrell. He was very tenacious there. They took the turnover and he fed it perfectly. Threaded the needle on that pass. There was uh, about a triangle of traffic there from Greenville right where that shot was taken. And they fed it right in the middle of it and put right home there by Chris Granda who gets the first goal and electrifies the crowd. Iceman now keep it in the offensive end. Panetta. Rams it around the wall. Behind the cage, it's Nadeau. Turns to his forehand. Got it in front. Score! It's 2 to nothing, Jacksonville. Jerry D'Amigo set up from behind the net by Olivier Nadeau. And the Icemen, bang, bang, have a 2 nothing advantage. Reader, you talk about it all the time with Olivier Nadeau. His office is behind the net, and he showed why there. Yeah, that's Nadeau's office, and that is uh, below the dots and really behind the net area. He's just so good along those areas there with the puck. His puck handling's great. He anticipates well. I mean, he's pinned up against the boards there, Arlie, and still makes a perfect pass in front to the tape of D'Amigo to jam that one home. He just never gives up on the play. And uh, it's really his instincts, and uh, he just does it just about as good as anybody. And a welcome sight to the lineup as well. He set it up nicely, and D'Amico with another big tally here on the week. Cross ice, look. McMahon, a centering feed, score. Ben Freeman gets the goal. It's a power play goal for Greenville. And you knew that 2 nothing was not going to be able to do it tonight. Swamp Rabbits are on the board. It's 2-1. to one. Yeah, just a good play. They won the battle along the boards, and that was the paramount part of the play because they were able to get it out in the middle, and the Iceman did not cover the man in front, and that's where the tip and redirection was. Just a redirect there off the stick and in, and that goes in for the tally, 2-1, and a big goal here by Greenville. Great response for them as it was the Iceman rolling early in this one. Kisslin taps it forward. The Iceman get it right back in. It's Goent. Tries to knock it into the high slot. Score! Luke Brown with a one-time rip from the high slot, and the Iceman on top by a pair. It's going to take one whale of a shot to beat Jacob Ingham from about 55 feet out, but Luke Brown couldn't have placed that one any better, Reader. Yeah, Luke Brown's a guy. He just uh, step, stepped into it. What a clean rip there. And Luke Brown's that guy. He'll surprise you with any number of ways on how he'll score a goal. And that one, the long-range slapper. Get it there. And boy, oh boy, rip that one right underneath that glove of Ingham. Last time out for Vernon. A rough start for him on Wednesday. He gave up three goals in three and a half minutes. Now Greenville scores. It is Joe Leahy right off the draw. Heavy traffic in front. That's part of Greenville's game. They are big up front. They know it, and they use it to their advantage. They did here. It's 3-2. to two. The Icemen still on top. Yeah, and we were talking about the Icemen and their play here and their style and doing what they had to do to you know, have this lead. But the one thing about Greenville, and we've talked about it a little bit last night, that was only their 15th shot of the game, Arlie, and this is a team that doesn't need a lot of shots to score goals. Over the red line, final minute of play. McManus at the left circle. Turns to his forehand side, brings it to the blue line. Shot in the heavy screen, they score. Greenville has scored and tied it up. On a deflection in front, Tanner Eberly gets the goal with 51.1 seconds remaining. It's three to three. Round one, Acapelli, a left-handed shot, comes right up the middle, drifts to the right, comes back, goes to the backhand and scores. Cockrell, a lefty, coming down on the right wing side. Cockrell to the backhand. What a move and an easy goal for Logan Cockrell. Oh, man, was that silky. Kemp, forehand. Vernon! Vernon makes the save! And Jacksonville wins it in a shootout. 4-3, to three, your final score. And the Icemen take it down. It took 67 minutes and change, but the Icemen get their much-deserved victory tonight.